Hi everyone, it's Dr. Brad Meyer from Stephen F. Austin State University, where I'm the Associate Professor of Percussion. My first tip for the ATSSB timpani etude is going to be talking about one of the most important things that we can think about when we're playing timpani, especially in regards to how a lot of people approach the instrument incorrectly, which is about lift and tone. So a lot of us are either in or coming from a marching season where we're using a lot of velocity and a lot of downstroke into the instrument, and timpani are the polar opposite of that. Timpani while they're very big instruments physically, they are very delicate instruments. And so what we want to focus on is having a great sound to the instrument. So the first thing about great sound is going to be just mallets, making sure that we're not using really hard mallets. One of my uh, first teachers, Frank Schaefer, always said you can use a softer mallet and make it sound a little harder, but you can never use a harder mallet and make it sound softer. So I recommend using the Vic Firth Gen 7 articulates for this etude. It's a nice articulate mallet, but it's not something like the ultra staccatos, which have a lot of attack, are very harsh, and have uh, a lot less tone to them. The second thing is going to be about the stroke, how we lift off the drums. So again, marching band is going to be a lot of downstrokes, especially in the drum line. On timpani, we want to think about the drum as almost being like a hot stove and that the timpani mallet is like our hand touching it. We want to come off the instrument more than we come down to it. So just some simple digga digga burr style exercises can really get our hands, our minds wrapped around getting a good lift off the instrument. So how I would warm up for any typical timpani practice session is just by doing a little bit of something like this. As you can see, I spend hopefully 99% of my time up here as opposed to anywhere else, whether that be halfway down or all the way down. Another thing that we should focus on just for a second and talk about is about grips. So you'll probably notice that I use what is considered a more French style grip where my thumbs are up in a lot of my videos, whereas I would really recommend for middle schoolers, high schoolers, really anyone, is to utilize that matched grip that we're really good at on two mallet snare, uh, two mountain rimba, or on snare drum, and utilize that. You can still get a great rebound with regular kind of American grip or German grip, whatever style, but what I would really avoid is using French grip. That's something that I would save later for when I'm studying maybe at uh, as a senior in high school or especially in the college years where I'm thinking about being a, an even higher level musician. For now, let's just make our matched grip really high quality with a really nice lift, touch and tone on the instrument. I hope that helps and best of luck on your audition.